thanks you all for joining us for our little roundtable discussion. I am alongside Jessica McDonald, Sam Mewis, Crystal Dunn, of course, stars with the North Carolina Courage and also the U.S. US Women's National Team. So let's start first, though, with everything that's going on with the Challenge Cup. Congratulations, three wins. Doesn't come as a surprise, honestly. If you were to go 30,000 feet up, big picture view, what does it feel like to be the first American sports league back in action? Crystal. Oh, I mean, it feels great. I think there was a lot of um, pent up energy leading into the first game. I think we all were really excited that we were going to be the first sports teams back. Um, I do think obviously in light of you know, where the world is at this point. We also were really focused on making sure that we come out with a bang and we have a very unified, powerful message to kind of align with all of our beliefs and um, kind of make that known as well as along with joining back and playing soccer again. Yeah, that was an incredibly powerful message as well. Um, there's big news recently as well with racing Louisville FC being announced as a 2021 expansion team with NWSL. Lots of sponsors added for the Challenge Cup. Given all the dire predictions about sports in general and where they will be coming out of this pandemic, what are your thoughts on the health and growth of NWSL? I think yeah. it's moving in a positive direction. I'm like super stoked that we're obviously adding on to the league. I feel like it's going to bring an even bigger fan base coming from an incredible mm -hmm. soccer city. And I feel like it just doesn't get any better than that. And hopefully teams will continue to want to obviously jump on board. Yeah, I totally agree. I think that um, coming out of such an uncertain time with the pandemic, I feel like not only getting this tournament off to a successful start, um, being the first pro team sport back, um, it gives me a lot of faith in the NWSL, in the front office, in all the people who are working to make this happen. And then to see that um, we have more teams interested in coming in uh, just gives me a lot of confidence in the league. And I know that uh, the people who are working behind the scenes are doing a great job. So I'm just excited about the future of this league. There were some national team players who are not playing uh, because of injury, of course. Some, it was a choice. You all decided to play, all of you from the North Carolina Courage. Why was it important for you all to play? And Jessica, you in particular, when will you be able to start playing? How was your injury? Very soon here. Um, I've been feeling great lately. Um, I've just been kind of taking it day by day. I've been 100% for probably about a week or two now. Um, but this is, this is something that we can kind of ease into. I mean, our team, we're obviously doing just fine without me. So obviously, <laughs> I don't... I don't um, I don't mind obviously being on the sideline, cheering my team on and doing what I can to be a good teammate, but I'm just kind of taking my time and um, taking my time as precaution as well. So uh, hopefully, you know, I'll jump in this next game. So we'll see, cross your fingers. What, why was it important for you all to play? Sam, can you, you oh. Yeah, Crystal or Sam. Go ahead, Chris. Um, yeah, I think, I was definitely on the fence for a lot of, you know, the waiting period of everyone kind of being in, in their own place. And um, I always said that I'm going to uh, take it day by day, you know, and it was uh, kind of challenging for me to wrap my head around the fact that we're in the middle of a pandemic. And, uh, you know, we had a short kind of preseason to really vamp things up and then get into this tournament style format. But I think it was really important for me to give it a go and really invest and believe in the NWSL and all the protocols that were taken um, into consideration and put in play for us. So, um, you know, everything's been great so far. You know, I really do think that those working behind the scenes worked extremely hard to make sure that mm. the protocols were put in place and that there were guidelines that everyone can follow. You know, I think at the end of the day, it really comes down to common sense. And if you really want to play and be a part of this tournament, it really came with you sacrificing your need to need of going to the grocery store, bopping to Target. Everyone knows we all love Target, but we had to put those on pause for a split second. And um, I've been really, really happy that everyone's remained healthy. And I think that was the number one um, focus, obviously. So going through five weeks of preseason and being in the tournament for a couple of weeks now, I truly believed in the, the guidelines and I'm really just happy everyone remained healthy. What is it like being in that bubble? Because as we're seeing, the bubble is a big discussion, the bubble in the sports world and... As we're also seeing, it's really hard for 
and MLS as an example, for the bubble to stay COVID free. So what has your experience been in terms of, are you feeling safe? What's it like outside of games? We haven't heard much of that at all. Sam, if you want to start there. Yeah, I mean, I feel great. I think that um, we, our team, the, the teams that we've witnessed at our hotel have followed the guidelines um, to the T. Um, so there, I know we, when we came in, there was this thought, okay, well, what if people got it um, traveling in? But I feel like that kind of period has passed and I feel like it would be difficult now to uh, go out into the world and contract the virus if we're following all these protocols. We really just stay in the hotel. Um, we have masks on all the time. We get in the van, we clean the van, we go get out and go to the fields mm -hmm. and then we grab our food and we come back to the hotel and I haven't been anywhere else. Um, and just trusting that these other teams are following the same protocols, nobody's been anywhere else. So I feel like there had to be some um, good fortune that we, none of us brought it here and none of us got it traveling here. Um, but I feel so far like it's been very safe and um, I trust my teammates and I trust the other girls in the league. And so far I feel like everybody's done a really good job. Are you able to interact with each other inside the hotel or are you confined <laughs> to, to your rooms, which would get a little lonely perhaps? I don't know. Um, I. It, within our own team, I think we can kind of like hang out in small groups with masks on, maintaining social distancing. So um, we do like see the girls within our own team fairly often. So I don't feel particularly lonely, but um, it's, it, I'm not bored either. Like I feel like we have meetings and we have practice and we have meals and it's not like we have 10 hours of doing nothing. Right. all day so I do feel like it's been pretty busy and I feel like I see my teammates plenty <laughs> <laughs> and I have had enough of them teammates <laughs> give me some space well thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube for more sports highlights and analysis be sure to download the ESPN app and for live streaming premium content and let's not forget as well ESPN FC seven days a week subscribe to ESPN Plus.